coming at you with a video of the Diamond Sea Gooseneck Trailer, uh, hot shot trailer, what most would call it. Um, so this is Diamond Sea's new engineer beam they came out with last year. This is the 40K package, 44 foot, with all the bells and whistles. Pretty sweet trailer. So we'll go through the whole thing right now and check it all out. See what you guys think. So, with the 40K package, uh, it's gonna come standard with a three inch ball, uh, that's adjustable. Um, and going right into the frame here, this is engine, the engineered beam frame, all one piece they manufacture themselves. Into a 16 inch I beam frame that's, uh, that's actually lighter and stronger than uh, the standard frame, uh, about 10%, I believe. So, going through some of the options up in the neck here, we have, there's hydraulic jacks, there's a, this is a hydraulic dovetail, so there's, there's a winch also, and it has air suspension, so this thing's got quite a few batteries on board, so he, this, this trailer sold by the way, so the customer opted for up here, you can't really see it, but there's a solar charger, charge breakaway batteries, and the rest of them. Right up here is a spare tire. This has 17 and a half inch rubber, load range H or something like that. I think big tires. Uh, this toolbox, this is standard. Oh, by the way, this is this is a metallic gray. You can see the valve block for the hydraulic jacks in there. Pretty big toolbox can fit plenty of chains and binders, and that's the standard toolbox it comes with. Uh, for ease of getting on the trailer, they have a retractable step here that you can put, that you can store away, that you're not gonna, not gonna knock into a bend. Uh, handle right here for getting up, nice and easy. Right here we have load lights with a switch on the back side to control those. Those are hooked up right to the breakaway battery. Going across here we have a full length chain tray, um, lockable. So you flip this up. You can store your binders, chains, um, and then flip this right back down, and lock it up. You don't have to worry about it on top of the toolbox and the rest of the storage. It has other load light on this side. This is um, the 17.5 Warrior Winch package that I can see offers. Um, awesome winch. Battery up here, like I said, there's a couple batteries on here. Each battery has its own trickle charger that you can plug in to keep it maintained at 100% all the time. And this has a um, uh, wired remote and wireless. Everything's on gas props, opens up nice and easy. You can see, so this has pierced beam uh, frame, which gets the deck height a little bit lower than a traditional frame. Um, you can see the I beams coming right up to the deck. This is. This is a standard decking, which is number two um, grade pressure treated lumber. Going to the back here. You can see the hydraulic dovetail. This is how the hydraulic dovetail comes standard with blackwood on the outside uh, for extra traction and um, uh, grip bars welded down to the diamond plate here. So we'll hop back down, go through underneath and the rest now rub rail and stake pockets is standard um, they, they dress it up a little bit with uh, some pinstripes you can see here four inch ratchet binders uh, or four inch strap ratchets I should say with a slide rail all the way down the whole side of the trailer that's an option up front it's just an empty tool box for extra storage I mentioned earlier the air suspension in this toolbox we have the air management system two batteries these are the upgraded batteries two uh, air compression for the gauge right here uh, this is a uh, it's basically self-maintaining when, um, so with this air suspension there, the front axle is a lift axle to get that off the ground. When you're empty, going down the road, 
save money through tolls, save wear and tear on your tires, less maintenance costs. Uh, right here, we have the valve to dump the air out of the rear bag into the front bag to lift that axle up if you're showing the tires going up there. Comes right up off the ground, tucks under there. Here the air compressors kick on as it got down to the lowest point. Now this is a uh, 60 inch spread axle. You can go up to a 72 inch spread uh, to even out the load or distribute the load a little better I should say. Now with the hydraulic dovetail and the hydraulic jacks you need a pump down in this toolbox you have the hydraulic pump with another battery again this box and the air management box have battery maintainers you can plug into the wired remote wireless remote this is a valve valve block to go from the hydraulic dove to the hydraulic jacks over here is the hydrostar braking uh, actuator for electric over hydraulic drum brakes on the 16k axle so, I believe here well actually before we go ahead and do that we go ahead and dump the air back in the air bag put that axle right back down Oil bath pump, like I said, 17 and a half inch wheels. What we're here, you got to step halfway down with a stop tail turn. Light, that's on both sides. Um, the air bags, you can see back here for the air ride. Again, this is the 40K package. Um, slide track between the wheels here. Another one here. Since it's so long, we have a, another retractable step here. We'll leave that up. I'm going to show you the hydraulic dump. Another slide ratchet here. Now this this hydraulic dovetail is one of the longest in the business right now. Um, at 12 feet long, and it's rated at 10,000 pounds. It can lift 10,000 pounds. Um, that's not a lift gate, but that's what they rate that at. So, uh, use our wireless remote here. If I can get it to connect. So this thing's, it locks automatically so you can see it going up. The pistons are on a, a cam system with the frame so you don't have to lock anything there's no bars to check no locks to put in you can see the ICC bars on a pivot goes right down with that you can get a great loading angle pretty much get anything on this trailer Instead, you got the Blackwood standard on the hydraulic dove. You go right back up here. Now I have the wireless remote. I'd say I'm about 20 or so feet away from the box right now. And I could go further. So again, watch carefully. You'll see it go up past the flat point. Actually. You can look right here. If you come over here, I'm gonna go up. You're gonna watch that. It's gonna cam right over. Down a little. That's gonna lock itself right in. It's coming back down. And now this dove is sitting. It's on the frame, not the hydraulic pistons, so you don't have all the weight. Bounce it on the pistons going down the road. Um, oh, also, 
another step on this side. This had extra penny lights added for running lights down the side. Again, same step over here. Uh, you can see right here, this has sway control, which is standard on any model over 30 feet long. There's a big torque tube going down the center of the frame, uh, which helps it from flexing and twisting going down the road. Here we have a, uh, a tray for like ramps or blocks or uh, stands, whatever you're using, you know, if you're hauling different stuff. Another toolbox on this side. Now these are flush with the outside. On the other side, you saw they were pushed in. That's because of the slide ratchets for the um, for your straps. Track will step up in the front. Now, so this thing, ton of ton of bells and whistles on this thing. Again, this is a 44 foot F Max 216, 16,000 pound axles, electric over hydraulic brakes, air suspension. 40k package so if you like this video uh, give us a like you know comment share it uh, let us know what you think we're gonna try to get some more videos like this up on the website and um, for you guys to check out so let us know what you think thanks for watching